everyone welcome back to another video so I'm back down the Gold Coast again today and I actually finally bought my dragon kayak down to the jetty so pretty much the plan for today you go to all like the IGA the Woolies here in Australia there is a no fresh fish that you can eat it's all been bought out because of this coronavirus so pretty much I thought it'd be a pretty cool idea get out in the kayak catch some fresh fish stock the freezer and do a catch and cook for you guys but before we do any of that we need to catch bait so first off got my seven foot cast net right here got a small smaller rod for smaller fish that we can cook up and then of course we're going out to a bit of a bigger channel so I've bought my big shark rod out there with a wire trace on it and everything so that's the plan for today first off we're gonna get the cast out in the water catch and bait for this adventure so yeah let's get into it there little silver bitty two more down there that one's a pretty big one they'll be perfect bait for jacks flathead brim anything like that it's a bigger one here we go I got a lot of little fish in this one little whiting and a heap more silver bitties Oh, yep. Yeah. There we go. Surely, yep. Yeah. There we go. Big mullet. Oh, take a look at that. I had heaps more in that net then, but they all got out, but that's all right. That's like three shark baits right there. Oh, that's so good. That's actually huge. That's like one, two, three shark baits just in that one mullet, and that's all I need. So I'm going to cut him up, chuck him in the kayak, Get going up there and yeah, catch a big shark. All right, so I think this is a pretty good spot. It's out in the middle of a massive like connection of like five different canals coming into one big pool. Oh, that's gonna get a monster. we go hooked up come on surely this is a good fish it feels all right eh? I reckon it's a flathead by the way it's fighting come on finally he made a massive run all right he's coming in I can loosen off the drag a little bit surely this is dinner right here come on oh I think it's a big brim Looks pretty big. Come on. I just need to land him. Oh, the net. I forgot about you. No. <laughs> Stop running away. Yes. Oh, that is massive. Now, I'm not sure how big it looks on camera. It probably looks like it's tiny, but that's a pretty good brim. Let's get the hook out of him real quick. Get a measurement on them. The other cool thing about these dragon kayaks is they've got a, like a self-measuring tape here. Yep, and he is 32 centimeters. So that is a stonker brim right there, actually. That's gonna be really good. Get some nice fillets off of them. So the coolest thing about coming out here and fishing with live bait is that you never know what you're gonna catch. You could catch all everything from a jack to a whiting to a flathead. I literally didn't know what he was until I got him up near the boat. And that is a pretty good sized brim. He'll get some nice fillets off of him. Now, normally if I was fishing and we didn't have any fresh fish in the freezer, wait now normally if i was fishing and we had fresh fish in the freezer i wouldn't worry about it but since this guy is legal size he's quite over actually and um we don't have any fresh fish stocked in the freezer i'm gonna bring him home chuck him in the freezer overnight and cook him up tomorrow all right so the plan for today was to go out and try and catch some more species of fish that i can add to this catch and cook but it looks like we only just got this big brim here i did end up catching another little brim and i'll roll you the clip to that right now 
little stingray and watch me get a fish on this cast. Oh yeah, there we go. Little brim, he's way too little though, not too bad. Ladies, buddy. So yeah, it was nothing massive or anything, but it was still cool to get out, catch some more fish. And today we're gonna to be cooking up some fish sushi. Now, normally you'd cook up sushi with like raw sashimi, but I don't wanna get food poisoning today. So I'm just gonna cook up this fish, chuck it in some sushi and it should be good. I gutted and scaled this brim last night then chucked it in the freezer, so it's really fresh. So I'm gonna cut some fillets off of it and then yeah, start cooking up the sushi. Now brim, they don't have too much meat on them, so you don't wanna be missing a heap of meat or whatever. Down along the backbone, pretty much just shave off all that meat. And there's a the second fillet right there. Two nice fillets off like a 32 centimeter bean of rim, I think it was. So we'll chop them up, cook them up, chuck them in the sushi and it should be good. And we're not gonna waste any of that brim. We're gonna chuck that in the crab pot and maybe get a few mud crabs that we can cook up in next week's video. Just a little bit of oil. Gonna shallow fry these fillets, so a lot of oil. <laughs> Chuck these little pieces in, let them cook up. So we're just gonna get a little seaweed wrap, chuck it down there, and then we're gonna get a heap of rice and put it on top of it. Those um, little fish pieces are still cooking up nicely there. Just cut this avocado in half. And now hold it. It's half. A little bit of avocado, just there like that. So it's pretty much just like a better way of eating fish rather than just cooking it normally. You can just make a little sushi. It's all we had in the cupboard. Not much available at the moment. This is like all you get off the shelves while you're looking for food at um, RGA or whatever through this whole Corona stuff. So it's been frying for a while now. I think they're pretty well cooked. So I'm just gonna stab into them, let that oil drip off and just chuck them on the sushi right there. <laughs> Stop, that's too much. <laughs> no, no. You're not gonna be able to seal it because it's not thick enough. That's cash. So just a couple little pieces of fish down there should be good for the sushi roll. And then what you wanna do, roll it up. I've never actually used one of these before, if you can't tell. Oh, oh look at that. Oh my God, it's just like a bought one. The big reveal. Have a look at that. Looks beautiful. Couple sushi rolls right there. Put a little bit of soy sauce on there. It tastes better than the ones that you buy at the shops. That's all I'm saying. Soy sauce with a side of sushi. So the coolest thing about this recipe and like making sushi or whatever is you can actually do it with other species of fish and if you don't catch any fish you can even do it with things like chicken or whatever. All right everyone what a day it was out. Got that massive brim now. I would have liked to catch more stuff but you know you can't do it every time. It was a bit of a slow buy today but I'm gonna get back out there. I was even thinking about getting a boat or a jet ski down off this jetty just so I can zip around maybe catch some sharks off it or whatever. But yeah thank you so much for watching and now what everyone has been waiting for. The GoPro giveaway competition. Now it was so hard to choose a winner and whatever and I will be doing more giveaways in the future and how I'm actually gonna contact this winner is I'm gonna go onto their channel send them a private message so if you could reply to it I'm sure you'll be watching this video right now but here's the winner up on the screen right now congratulations for the GoPro I really hope that it helps you build your channel a bit make some cool content and I'm keen to see the content that you film on that GoPro itself but yeah thank you for everyone who entered that competition I wish I could have given a GoPro away to all of you but you know what I'm gonna be doing more giveaways in the future and more giveaways in the next video actually so make sure you stay tuned for that. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Go follow me on Instagram. My username is just Miller Wilson. And yeah, we'll see you again in the next adventure. Is that Miller Wilson? Yeah. Stop. What's up? Do you want me to come over? Hold up one sec. Yeah. You want to say hi to the video? Oh, sure. <laughs> but yeah, I was trying to fish for sharks off over there. We should go shark fishing this weekend. Yeah, you want to?